But with all that said, I need to share some good news with y'all. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, mama. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, welcome everybody. I am Karen Marie. If you are new here, this is Beyond the Melody. Welcome. So let me explain to you what this channel is about. I, if the Lord is willing, will be 50 years old in about 38 weeks. And I am dedicating this channel to thriving at 49 and beyond because I feel like a lot of times what happens with us as women is we get stuck in premenopause and menopause and postmenopause. This is where we gain the most weight. This is where we have the most stress. This is where we we just kind of get stuck and, and I'm determined to not get stuck here. I'm hoping to build a community where we can help each other. So that is what we're doing with this channel. But with all that said, I need to share some good news with y'all. I lost weight y'all I started this healthy journey back at the end of February kind of the end of February like I was playing around with it a little bit honestly but really I hit the road running into February beginning of March I at that time was 170 pounds 170 71 that is the heaviest I have ever been in my life and y'all I'm five foot one and three quarters I always thought I was exactly 5'2", but I went to the doctor recently. They like, nah, you're not 5'2". You're 5'1 and 3 quarters. And for my little frame, 171 pounds, 70, 170 pounds, that's entirely too much. I just got finished working out, so excuse the way I look. I'm eating my yogurt because I need some protein. This has 25 grams of protein. But I wanted to share with you that, y'all, I lost... 10 pounds. I really think it's more than 10 pounds because, you know, I'm in premenopause. I hadn't hit menopause yet, so there's that time of month, you know, about every 28 days when we gain. I'm good for gaining maybe about four to five pounds. So the scale is saying 10 pounds, but I, it's, it's more than 10 pounds. This extra weight, water retention, all this stuff is going to fall off of me in the next couple of days, and I'm going to see for real exactly how much I'm weighing. But I'm going to give you three key things that's going to guarantee that you can lose at least 10 pounds over the next couple of months. Now, if you're one of those people who wants to lose 30 pounds in two months, y'all, I'm not that person. Um, I don't think that's healthy. I know we see a lot of people, oh, I lost 80 pounds in four months. You know, I, if they can do that and do it in a healthy way, that's fine. But for me, I wanna do it slow and I wanna do it the right way because I wanna be able to keep it off. But I wanna give you some steps. The first thing you have to do, and which is the first thing that I did, was find your motivation. For me, um, my motivation was like, I can't remember exactly what was going on, but. You know how like sometimes something just clicks in you and you're like, okay, something got to change. I don't care what your motivation is. Your motivation can be you broke up with somebody and you want them to see what they missed and you getting your revenge body on. I don't care. Whatever motivates you, you have to find a starting place. Move on past that and let it be for you. But whatever it takes for you to get started, once you get into the groove of it, you're gonna love yourself. I've been in the diabetic phase for a couple of years. Every time I go to the doctor and they t and they draw my blood, they're like, okay. You know, my numbers are always just bad. Um, so my motivation was, I wanna get right. I wanna be healthy. And I know that there's a person inside of me that's wanting to come out that's healthy. Like I'm 49 years old. I don't feel like I'm 49 but sometimes I actually do because of how unhealthy I am. But in my mind, I'm like, I don't feel like I'm 49. Sarah was bomb at 75 years old, okay? She was so bomb. Abraham lied and said, oh, she's my sister. So the king wouldn't take her away from him and kill him to get her. That's how fine she was at 75. So y'all, it's no different for us. We can thrive and be all that we're supposed to be at this right, beautiful age and what we call midlife. Like we youngins compared to Sarah. So. Find your motivation, that's very important. Whatever it is, find your motivation and stick to it. Okay, step two, plan your meals. This is one, and that's the reason why I'm eating this right now. You are not going to be successful if you do not plan your meals. That's 
whenever you leave for work, you should have a bag that has at least four meals in it. Like breakfast, snack, lunch, snack. That's my thing all day. It keeps me from running to the snack machine. It keeps me from going out to eat and picking up something from fast food that has way too many calories. Like it just, it, it, it keeps me in line to plan my meals. Not only do I plan my meals, I have set up through calculator.net. I went there and I found out exactly how many calories I should be eating. And I also use my fitness pal. And there is a free version of my fitness pal that you can use. I'm not being paid by my fitness pal to talk about my fitness pal, but I just want to share with you guys. I'm not a gatekeeper of information. I want to share with you the things that have helped me. My fitness pal has been absolutely critical for me. There's a lot of people out here that say, oh, I don't like counting calories. Count calories isn't necessary. Okay, you might believe that. But for me, I believe that in the beginning, you absolutely need to make sure that you're in the specific calorie range that is designated for you for your height, your weight, and your age. The macros that I pay attention to are carbohydrates, fats, proteins. You guys, protein at our age, in our age group, protein is 100% important. And this next key to your success is why? And that is strength training. So I have a membership at the gym, okay? But I don't like going to the gym. I don't like going to the gym. And one of the reasons that I don't like going to the gym is because um, my husband and I, we have a very, very long commute. We leave home at 4.30 in the morning and we don't get back until almost five in the afternoon. So by the time I get home and I have to walk my baby and feed her and you know get my husband's dinner, whatever it is that I have to do um, in the in the evenings, like I am not gonna then get dressed, get back in my car, get in the traffic and go to the gym. Like that's just not it, it's not conducive to me staying on a plan for working out. I was going to the gym at one time and I was going to spin class when I first started back in at the end of February beginning of March I was going to spin class with my daughter and then I realized I, I started doing some more research and I realized that that was a mistake because at this age group for us that excessive cardio is not good for us what it actually does is causes us to lose muscle when you do too much cardio so building our muscle is better because when you're at rest when you're strength training even at that point you're burning calories so strength training is a must with my strength training i do it three times a week it's either monday wednesday friday or tuesday thursday saturday and it's only 30 minutes it is not stressful um i just pull out my mat and my weights and i do a full body 30 minutes unstressful workout it's not stressful at all by the way if you're interested in me maybe showing you some of those workouts comment below I'm no expert at it but I at least can show you what it is that I do but I need to know that you want that information before I just start putting out workout videos um, but yes strength training is a must now let me go back to the meal prep portion of this you guys I want you to say this with me all right Preparation wins the day. Say it again. Preparation wins the day. That's my philosophy. That's my motto. Because I know if I am not prepared, I am going to mess up. That's just it. I'm going to mess up. So make sure that if whenever you start your program, whenever you start, whenever you make up in your mind, whenever you find your motivation to do this, Preparation wins the day. That means you're prepping your meals. Um, you know what you're gonna eat for breakfast. You know what you're gonna have for your snack. It, I base everything on the amount of protein that I need. So they say base your protein on your goal weight. So my goal weight is 130 pounds. Um, I really wanna get maybe down to 120, 120, 125, <clears throat> but 
130 pounds is is what my goal is so every day everything that i eat i have to make sure that i get by the end of the day at least 130 grams of protein that is critical it is critical because what i have found is when i eat the amount of protein that i need to eat 130 grams or more i'm not hungry y'all when you eat like you're supposed to eat it's gonna take jesus and all them for you to eat at the end of the day like by lunchtime today i was texting my daughter and i was like i'm not hungry like i had packed myself um a turkey burger the night before i put it in the george foreman grill and put some provolone cheese on it and i packed it up and on the side i had my blue chips and some hummus yes blue chips and hummus as long as you eat the right portions of everything you guys you can eat what you want to eat now i did a short the other day and it was my negative self talking to my positive self and so many people like that i'm gonna do more of them but what my negative self was saying to me that i'm never gonna lose weight because a couple of weeks ago one of my co-workers retired and they had a party for her and they had pizza i had two slices of pizza and i had a piece of cake but i knew when i ate those slices of pizza what my macros were i knew how many carbs how much fat how much protein i knew everything that i could eat based on that my fitness pal app that's why i tell you it's critical to me my my fitness pal has been a lifesaver now i like the paid version it's 70 dollars a year it shows me a lot more but you can still get the same benefits out of the free version that you can the paid version so i really wasn't bothered by eating that pizza and it did not affect my weight if you want to see some of my meal prep let me know if you want to see what i eat i can do a video and i can meal prep and i'll show you exactly what i have in a day that's really all i have for today you guys i just wanted to share this good news with you and i want to inspire you to join the journey like come on in if you're in your midlife phase and you just need some encouragement if you need some spiritual encouragement you need to find your way back to god during this process use this process to do it we're going to be studying the word we're going to be helping you find out what it is you want to do in this midlife phase um like what dreams do you have what businesses did you have that you wanted to start that you never started we don't have to get stuck in midlife and we don't have to let midlife dictate to us how we're going to live in our midlife phase we need to find our connection to god and stay plugged into him y'all we have to stay plugged into him he is our source he's our power let's get this midlife makeover going y'all let's do it we got this we can do it so i look forward to seeing you at the next video i love you guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and the notification bell so you can keep up with everything that's going on in the midlife phase because we're thriving at 49 and beyond i love you and i will see you next time